he has made strides that I never thought anyone would be able to really go through. It's, it's amazing. After being nearly beaten to death, a young man makes a miraculous recovery and pursues his dream of playing baseball again. It was a case that made national headlines back in 2012. A Farmington Hills family attacked in their own home. The attackers, the family's eldest son, Tucker Cipriano, with the help of his friend, Mitchell Young. Just a horrible crime. The two brutally attacked and killed Tucker's father, Bob, with a baseball bat. Tucker's mother, Rose, and brother, Sal, were severely beaten but survived. Ever since, they have worked to recover from near-fatal injuries. Karen Drew has their remarkable story of recovery. She takes us to a ballpark in Southfield for this exclusive story. You can hear the crack of the bat. The cheering from the stands. At first, this seems like a typical baseball game on a summer night. Soldier! Nice job! But it's so much more. That's Rose Cipriano cheering for her son, Salvatore, number four on the Angels of the Miracle League. This has been a huge piece of him being back into able to play baseball. That's it. This was Sal after the attack in 2012. He was in a wheelchair, needed a feeding tube. He suffered a right skull fracture and had numerous seizures. No one really knew how much he would or could recover. Here's the throw over to first. Fast forward six years and look at his progress. He has made strides that I never thought anyone would be able to really go through. It's, it's amazing. Um, two games ago, he had a grand slam for us and a single home run, and he does it constantly, consistently. It's, it's incredible. You see, baseball is Sal's love. He was a junior playing travel ball when he was nearly beaten to death. And getting back on the diamond is actually helping Sal's recovery. What we've really seen with Sal is those deep-rooted habits are coming in and he's throwing the ball well. Uh, it's like he really didn't miss a day. He doesn't have the strength that he had before, but the quality of play, you can tell there's a baseball player inside there. What's your favorite part <laughs> of baseball? Sal can't speak, so he communicates by typing a message that can be played on his phone. When I asked him what was the most challenging part of baseball, his response? Nothing because travel got me ready. What have you seen different with him now that he's on this team? He's staying motivated to keep on with his recovery. Mm -hmm. More strength and independence, yes. He's definitely, every time he plays here, he comes home and feels a lot better. Rose herself is doing much better as well. She suffered serious brain damage, was in a coma for over a week, and had to relearn how to talk. Now, she's competing in state swim meets. She was a college swimmer and says the pool brings her peace. It's got my strength back uh, mentally and physically. I'm swimming about three times a week. Rose and Sal Cipriano beating the odds and making miraculous recoveries. And how fitting. At Sal's last at bat, he hits a two-run home run. Rose cheers for her 23-year-old son, thankful for so much. Got that, Sal! Sal's team, the Angels, win 16 to 12. Not just a victory on the baseball diamond, a victory on his road to recovery. In Southfield, Karen Drew, Local 4 News.